What's going on everybody welcome to your 28th AngularJS tutorial this is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be looking at ng show directive in AngularJS now ng show directive basically creates a kind of if else kind of thing in your HTML only which allows you to set conditions when to show something and when not to and obviously that would be governed by JavaScript and basically by the scope of your program so let's create a simple application to demonstrate what I'm trying to say so let's say you have some messages and you want to toggle those messages um, to one message to another with the help of a button so what we can do is either we can in, a J in our JavaScript set a array of message and then we can toggle it with the help of array or we can even set those messages inside the HTML only and then toggle those now this this thing can be useful to those guys who are looking for like um, I don't know in search and in optimization what Google does is it crawls your whole site and it looks for content so if you are using JavaScript then probably it will miss out what you have on your website so let's say you have like your h1 tag here and a big heading here which is used for optimizing your website for better CEO SEO sorry <laughs> and with the help of AngularJS you can even use JavaScript to do that job by hooking up the content in the scope but you would like to do that in HTML only so that Googlebot can fetch it easily anyways let's get started so let's create a simple app and let's first of all just create a button which will say toggle message so down here what I'll do is I'll create a div ID of message and what I'll do is ng show now ng show will accept <coughs> um, a condition as the value of this attribute and um, what you have to write here is your variable name which you will be registering inside your JavaScript so for example let's say message 1 is true or let's just say show then what I want to do is I want to write this is my message one and otherwise I should probably change this to class because I guess I need to use it twice in my code so I'll change this to ng show message two is equal to is equal to show okay or I guess maybe we could change it to like show is message one and show is message two so whoops okay so this kind of looks more meaningful now so yep okay so now let's just go to our script let's just create and what's the name of the module it is main app so app dot controller or let's just say this is apex dot mm, controller app okay now what I want to do is right here I am gonna set a variable show inside the scope so don't forget to pass on the scope and what I'll do is I'll say scope dot um, show equals message one which is right here and I'll just give this button a click event um, so scope dot toggle what it's gonna do is 
it's gonna change the scope dot show and I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing here okay so I really expect that you guys know what this is but if you don't then I guess you should watch my JavaScript tutorials I have explained that and a lot of other stuff in JavaScript well there well this is um, a shorthand for if else statements and this is called um, I don't I don't know it's like something called shorthand for that I just forgot this official name but yeah it is a shorthand for if else when you have just like a single assignment or whatever operation you want to do so what happens is scope dot show is basically getting a value based on this condition now if you look carefully then this condition right here and this condition right here looks kinda similar but um, obviously this is a condition which governs whether to display this div or not so scope dot show gets the value governed on this condition so if scope dot show is message one right now then assign this value message two otherwise assign this value message one so that's how this application actually works and let me see if everything looks good yeah okay so let's just test it out in the browser so here it is and let's just reload that okay so, okay so we get um, both of these messages and we have some errors in the code uh, oh yeah of course and now I guess this should be good to go let's just reload yep so when I'll click this toggle message you see this message toggles continuously so what happens behind the scenes is angular is basically checking okay I'm just shrink that a little bit so angular is basically checking here if show which is the variable available to this controller this scope of this controller is message one then show this message one otherwise if it is message two then show this and you could similarly set other conditions as well and obviously then you could make it more advanced by making use of classes and styling things but in this tutorial I just showed you basics how you can use ng show directive to um, you know just toggle from one content to another or even display some customized content based on the conditions set in the HTML itself so that's all for the tutorial and if you like then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you next time